This is Charles and Click Home Support Team. So I'm doing this video to explain to you exactly how to color the headlines and um, the text errors areas. Okay. So if you notice here, this is all one headline element. Um, then you have the red color here, and then you have the black. When you open this up into the uh, editor you'll notice the text color is this blackish gray color the bold color is the red so the way they were able to create two different colors here is by selecting this text here making it bold essentially what's that saying is anything that is bolded in the headline will be the red color as stated here you can change this color to whatever you want non-bolded lettering will be this color and then the bold letter will be this color that you set it to. Now if you're trying to use multiple different colors um, you won't be able to do that with the headline element. What you'll have to do is create a text blocks area. We take this, we open it in the editor. Now here this is just the dummy text that's put in there. Um, if you want it to say we'll take this section if we click on this button here we'll change it to uh, say a blue color and then we can take this section here and turn it a red color if we update this you'll notice the different colors now whatever before you do any formatting to this is uh, like changing this the the font size or bold italicized you want to get your colors set up first right or uh, set up first and then when you go into it to change the the size of it we'll say 28 pixels reason being is if you take the information after you resize it, let's say we wanted to change this color to orange, it'll remove the size formatting of it. So you'll have to go back and resize it to what you had it at. All right, so I hope this explained this, these two elements a little further uh, to give you a better idea how to create um, more colors in your headlines and text areas. All right, if you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to message back in. Thank you.